Hey guys, welcome to another exciting episode from Marvelous Videos. I'm your host, Tia Ayer. Monsters and Deadly Flare Virus from Maze Runner Film Series Explored As the Maze Runner was released in 2014, I can imagine how many people must have left the theater and run to the bookstore to buy the entire series. The first film left the audience at such a height of suspense that everyone, like me, must have been bothered by, oh my god, what happens next? Welcome to the fantastic trilogy of The Maze Runner, based on James Dashner's 2009 novel of the same title. The first film of the trilogy, The Maze Runner, was released in 2014 and directed by debutant Wes Ball starring Dylan O'Brien, Kaya Scardellario, Emil Amin, Thomas Brody, and many others. The story follows young Thomas, a awakened in a rusty elevator and landed in a functional society with no previous memory. The area was in the middle of a maze that kept changing itself and was crowded by ferocious monsters called Grievers. The second film in the series is Maze Runner. The Scorch Trials released in 2015 with the same cast and crew as the prequel and a few new supporting casts like Nathalia Manuel, Giancarlo Esposito, Aidan Gillen, and others. The audience had to wait for another three years to watch the concluding part. What torture! The last and final installment of the series is Maze Runner, The Death Cure, released in 2018. The film was about to be released in 2017, but Dylan O'Brien sustained some injuries from filming, which took a long time to recover. Let's take you to the world of Maze, where the young boys struggle for existence as they try to find a way out of the maze. Before we go into our explanation, we have a very small request. If you like our content, please support us by subscribing to our channel. This is a small click for you, but for us, it means a lot. Thank you. Let's begin. The Maze Runner 2014 Thomas, the protagonist, woke up in the ascending elevator with a few supplies marked with WCKD. He was terrified and didn't remember anything from the past. Soon, the elevator stopped, a door opened, and Thomas was pulled up amidst a group of boys laughing at him. He frantically started running but stumbled and fell, finally getting up and he was surprised to find himself in a place surrounded by massive walls. He was consoled by another boy named Albie who told him that they all had appeared similar to him. He stated that he would soon remember his name but but not his past, while they had named the grassy habitat Glade and called themselves Gladers. He also stated that everyone performs their task according to their abilities, while a vast maze surrounding the Glade is their only way out. There were designated people who ran during the daytime to search for a way out of the maze and returned before nightfall when the massive gate closed. He also claimed that no one had ever returned from the maze. If he couldn't come back before the gates closed due to the presence of deadly monsters called Grievers who patrol the maze. At night, when everyone celebrated, Gally, the leader, asked the boy to fight with him, and that's when the boy remembered his name, Thomas. Apart from Albie, Thomas also befriended Newt, Chucky, and Frypan. At night, Thomas kept dreaming of many images, especially a woman, who kept saying, Wicked is good. Suddenly, the next day, Thomas was attacked by a runner named Ben, who kept blaming Thomas for everything. Ben had been stung by a griever and passed through a phase called the changing. Whoever was stung by the griever had to suffer tremendous pain and become highly aggressive. As there was no cure for the infection, Ben was forced inside the maze to be prey for the grievers. The gladers were concerned as they had never witnessed a griever attack during daytime. The next day, Albie went inside the maze along with the other runners. Everyone became concerned when they didn't return while it was almost nighttime. They stood in front of the gate when they saw the chief runner, Minnow, carrying Albie, who seemed to be significantly injured. The gates were closing and they were unable to make it. When Thomas jumped into the maze when the gates closed behind them, Thomas and Minnow tried Albie with the vines and suspending him at the high point so that the grievers couldn't reach them. We had a clear view of the griever actually was at this time. They were technological monsters resembling gigantic spiders with robotic legs and tails. The griever's tail was similar to a scorpion's tail to grab the victims. Thomas ran for his life as the maze changed itself and he somehow lured the griever to chase him to get squashed within the colliding walls. Though Newt, Chucky, and a few others were ecstatic to see them return from the maze, Gally and his group were furious as they felt that Thomas was breaking the rules ever since he had arrived and threatened their lives in the glade. Suddenly, the elevator came up with a girl who said Thomas and passed out. 
She was carrying a note which said, she's the last one ever. Thomas went back to examine the carcass of the griever with the gladers when they found a device having an electronic display of number seven and marked WCKD, just like the supplies. The girl remembered her name as Teresa, but she was as scared and confused as anyone who appeared there for the first time. Thomas tried to calm her down and talk to her as he recognized the girl he had seen as his co-worker in his dreams. Thomas was locked up as punishment for breaking the rule, but he was almost made a runner. The following day, Minnow and Thomas went to the maze as they were guided by the strange device and reached an unexplored area. The device opened a new tunnel for them, but anticipating the griever attack and the section doors closing, they somehow managed to escape back to the glade. Teresa was carrying two syringes containing a serum. Seeing the deteriorating condition of Albie, Thomas injected the serum and surprisingly, Albie became better. But that night, the maze entrance didn't close while the others also opened, allowing the flock of grievers to enter and wreak havoc. Albie, Zart, Clint, and several other gladers were killed. Thomas understood that the griever sting helped bring back more memories, so he took a severed griever stinger and stabbed himself. This time, Thomas remembered that he worked with WC. KD along with Teresa, while all the gladers were unknowingly the subjects of an experiment. Enraged, Callie and his group decided to sacrifice Thomas and Teresa to the grievers and restore peace to the glade. But many gladers followed Thomas to free themselves from the maze, though many of them got slaughtered by the grievers on their way towards a possible exit. Eventually, they found the door leading them to a lab full of dead scientists. A video recorded by Ava Page, the leading doctor of WCKD, informed them that the Earth had been destroyed in a solar flare, followed by a pandemic of a deadly virus called Flare. She also stated that they had been the part of the experiment required to develop a cure for the virus. Paige was then seen to shoot herself before they reacted. Galley appeared, stung by a griever, and pointed the gun towards Thomas. Within a second, Minnow impaled Galley with a spear, but accidentally Galley shot the gun, which killed the young Chucky. As they all mourned Chucky's death, masked, armed men took them into a helicopter and flew over a vast deserted land where the maze was built and approached a ruined city. When the scientists of the lab were not dead, they held a meeting in a room while Ava Page stated that the experiment had been highly successful and survivors were entering the next phase. The Maze Runner has been considered one of the best young adult adaptations ever produced. The film was a massive blockbuster grossing $348 million worldwide against a budget of $34 million. The film received positive feedbacks related to strong performances and creepy, mysterious atmosphere. With the nail-biting suspense and thrilling actions, it keeps the audience glued to the seat. The maze itself was so intricate and elaborate that it steals the show. If you are already dying to know what happens next, let's take you to the next part, Maze Runner, The Scorch Trials. Maze Runner The Scorch Trials 2015 The film commented with thousands of people gathered around a quarantined area. A very young Thomas was brought by his mother and handed over to the securities. He was taken on a train with other children, where he met Ava for the first time. Thomas was then found ascending in the elevator of the maze when his friends awakened him from a flashback dream. Thomas, Newt, Teresa, Minnow, Frypan, and Winston were brought back to a desolate city in the helicopter. They were safely taken to a facility run by Mr. Jansen. He told them that his facility would provide them with food, shelter, clothes, and protection from the virus, the flare. They saw many other boys and girls at the cafeteria who had also survived the maze challenge. Frypan then pointed to a very introverted boy who had been in a girl-dominated maze for the longest time. Jansen then walked in and called out the names of several people who were being relocated to a better place. Teresa's name was taken and she walked out with the other people. Teresa! Hey, hey, hey. Where are they taking her? That night, Eris suddenly appeared in their room and guided Thomas through the vent to show him where they took several people, but none of them came out. Thomas had an uncanny feeling about the facility. The next day, Thomas created a false scuffle and stole the ID card of one of the guards. That night, Eris and Thomas again sneaked out and, with an ID card, entered the room where they found that all the people who were taken out for relocation were hung up with experimental setup as something was being taken out of their bodies. Eventually, he saw Jansen 
Jansen talking to Ava through projection. Thomas understood that Jansen had been running tests to determine who was immune to the virus. He was also trying to locate a group called the Right Arm and Safe Haven Habitat. Thomas realized that Jansen worked for WCKD or World in Catastrophe Kill Zone Department. After putting up quite a fight, Thomas managed to free themselves, including Aris and Teresa, as their group escaped from this facility. Outside in the vast deserts, they decided to find the right arm to protect themselves from WCKD. They reached an abandoned building where they tried to gather some supplies, but as soon as Minnow turned on the power, they were attacked and chased by zombie-like creatures called Cranks. They had turned highly violent and savage after being infected with the virus flare. Cranks lost all sanity and their only target was to devour any living organism that crossed their path. As the group escaped from the fierce Cranks, Winston got scratched by a crank in the stomach. As the gladers moved through the desert, Winston collapsed and begged for mercy, killing to which others sadly agreed. Soon they encountered a massive lightning storm and the group took shelter in another building. They saw many chained Cranks inside the building when Brenda appeared suddenly and introduced them to her father figure Jorge. The tattoos at the back of the glader's neck revealed that they came from WCKD while looking for the right arms. Hence, they proved to be quite valuable to Jorge, but soon, the entire building was raided by Jansen and his army of WCKD. After passing through many hurdles, the group found the right person, Marcus, who revealed the location of the right arm. The group took Marcus's car and drove to the mountains, but they were surrounded and cornered by many armed people led by two female shooters, Harriet and Sonia. Suddenly, they recognized Ares as he was in the same maze as they were and realized they posed no threat to them, so they decided to take them to their leader, Vince, and the remaining of the right arm force. Suddenly, Brenda collapsed as a crank bite infected her. Vince was about to shoot her, but he was stopped by their scientist, Mary Cooper, also a former scientist of WCKD. She informed that Thomas had acted as their informer to share the information of WCKD with the right arm. You spoke. You gave me the coordinates of every wicked compound, trial, and lab. Mary also needed Thomas's blood to create the serum for Brenda. Mary informed Thomas that when she used to work with WCKD, they truly intended to discover a cure for the virus. Only a few people like Thomas were immune to the virus due to a particular enzyme created in their brains. When the scientists failed to replicate the enzyme, they decided to take their blood directly and separate the enzymes from their blood. That's how WCKD was ruining the lives of many young people. Mary prepared the serum and gave it in a shot to Brenda. That night, Teresa revealed all this while she had been working with WCKD as WCKD helicopters were seen approaching the mountains. Thomas ran to warn everyone, but it was too late. The choppers started firing towards the right arm as the armed men descended and attacked the people. Jansen shot Mary and eventually a fierce battle ensued between the right arm and WCKD. The WCKD people were forced to retaliate, but Ava Jansen and Teresa managed to take many gladers with them. With injured minnow, Thomas helplessly watched them as the leading craft took off and escaped. The next morning, survivors of the right arm were totally devastated and seemed to lose all hope when Thomas informed them that he was determined to infiltrate WCKD, rescue Minnow and others, and kill Ava. At first, Vince was reluctant with Thomas's idea, but then they were all ready to help Thomas and give a new challenge to WCKD. Maze Runner The Scorch Trial grossed $312.3 million against a budget of $61 million. According to New York Times, the many chases and ludicrous narrow escapes, respectable doses of adrenaline, the thrill and chill aggravated in this movie with the introduction of the scary cranks. The cranks were very scary and grotesque, capable of giving nightmares. The pace, special effects, and set designs build up the suspense for the next sequel. The plot of the movie deviates from the book, but that doesn't affect the dramatic action of the trilogy. Maze Runner The Death Cure 2018 Maze Runner The Death Cure commenced with the Gladers running after a WCKD train to rescue Minnow and other people captured by them. Thomas and Vince tried to get on the running train while Jorge and Brenda lured the WCKD army men flying the copter. Thomas and Vince separated the main train and the carriage where the captured people were held. Meanwhile, Jorge, Brenda, and others hijacked the copter and lifted the carriage to their hideout. But even after such an achievement, 
Thomas was disappointed because Minnow was not in that carriage. Minnow, along with some others, were taken to WCKD headquarters. Jansen knew very well that Minnow was the reason Thomas attacked their train, so he put Minnow in a virtual reality simulation where he imagined himself back in the maze and was chased by a griever. As Minnow struggled with the experience of the simulator, the scientists extracted the blood from his body. Ava watched Minnow without any expression as he was just another subject for her, but Teresa felt sorry for betraying Thomas and his group. Meanwhile, Thomas, Newt, and Frypan left their hideout silently to reach WCKD headquarters and rescue Minnow. After crossing the last infection checkpoint, they were attacked by some cranks as they passed through a tunnel. They managed to shoot them, but soon, a large crowd of cranks approached them. Luckily, they were saved by Brenda and Jorge and reached the last surviving city surrounded by enormous walls to protect the city from the infected cranks and the unwanted people. The group arrived at the city's entry gate where many people gathered to protest against WCKD. WCKD, but there were rounds of firing thus scattering the protesters. Thomas and the crew fled from the spot where they were abducted by a few masked men. Soon, one of the masked men was revealed to be Galley, who was thought to be dead. Enraged, Thomas started hitting him as Galley was responsible for Chucky's death, but Galley apologized and he was not in his right senses in the infected state. Galley led the group to a rebellion leader, Lawrence, whose face had been disfigured, infected with the virus. Lawrence offered to help Thomas sneak into the city on one condition, that he helped them in return. You know what I am. In the meantime, Teresa created a serum using Minnow's blood, sample, and tested it on a little girl, but the experiment failed utterly. Galley informed Thomas that though they had entered the city through a hidden way, they needed Teresa to enter the WCKD headquarters. Soon, Newt revealed that he got infected by a crank attack in the tunnel, but didn't inform anyone except Thomas. The group abducted Teresa and headed towards the headquarters. As Galley fetched the serum and freed the captive people, Thomas and the others freed Minnow. The captive victims were taken in a bus driven by Brenda and finally lifted by Frypan with a crane until the bus landed outside the city. Teresa was stunned to see Brenda alive without any further medication as she knew that Mary was dead. She took the bandage with Thomas's blood, which she had used to remove the locator of WCKD inside Thomas's neck and tested the sample. She found that Thomas's blood was able to kill the flare virus. That was the reason Brenda was still alive. Thomas, Newt, and Minna were chased by Jason. who jumped out of a window and landed in a pool. Meanwhile, Lawrence gathered his army and attacked the city with explosives, setting the city ablaze. The entire city was under siege by Lawrence and his men. Amidst the commotion, Newt's condition deteriorated considerably, and Minnow went to fetch the serum, and Thomas tried to keep him in his senses. Teresa broadcasted throughout the city that Thomas's blood was the cure to the virus, and he needed to surrender to cure the infected people. Before Minnow could bring the serum, Newt died after handing Thomas a necklace with the cylinder. Devastated, Tom went back to Ava, surrendering himself, providing they would release all of the captive people. Ava agreed to his words, but immediately Jansen shot her and took Thomas to the lab, where Teresa prepared the serum for his blood. Teresa was spellbound when she heard Jansen say that the serum would be used only on those people decided by WCKD. She attacked Jansen and freed Thomas, and in the final confrontation, Jansen shot Thomas and also killed Teresa. When Thomas broke the glass wall, allowing Cranks to attack Jansen. Teresa helped Thomas to get on the terrace as the building was engulfed in flames, and Jorge and the others tracked them and brought the copter close to the terrace as Teresa pushed Thomas to get on board. But before Teresa could be rescued, the building collapsed as Teresa fell to her death and the injured Thomas collapsed. As Thomas regained consciousness, he found himself on a beach, a safe haven for all the survivors. As everyone greeted Thomas, Minnow handed him the necklace Newt had given him. Thomas found the last letter of Newt inside the necklace, who thanked him for everything. The survivors started carving names of the loved ones that they had lost in their fight. Thomas walked alone on the beaches, holding the serum in his hand and looking at the distance. The last of the trilogy is the perfect conclusion of the trilogy. Though some people found it prolonged, I found it quite interesting and the plot never slackened. The strong character of Thomas gives a substantial moral value to the young generation, which is highly required today. Overall, the movie is very entertaining and deserves the attention of all. The action, thrill, and chill genuinely deserves appreciation, making it worth a blockbuster.
Why should you watch Maze Runner? The Maze Runner trilogy is an exceptional young adult adaptation of the book by James Dashner, and it is great to see a book come alive on the screen. The trilogy renders utter entertainment from the beginning to the end, and is full of action, horror, drama, and suspense complemented with outstanding performances of the cast. The direction, special effects, set designs create the perfect atmosphere of a dystopian science fiction horror film. Maze Runner is a must-watch, and I assure you that this trilogy touches the right chord at the right moment. Thank you for watching another exciting episode. And if you liked our content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to us if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone!